Morning guys, it's a guy Max and welcome to the Stoughton Report. It's great to have you all with us again. Hey everyone, it's your boy Jaden. On today's episode we're going to take a look at what happened on Athletics Day. We check in with Mr. Tone as she tries her hand at 10 inside 60. We see how the year 7s went on the excursion to Werribee Zoo as well as find out what you're reading during tutorials. But up first, Aft's Day was held a few weeks ago. Although the weather was not the best, it was great to still see a lot of you guys participate on the day and representing our house colours. Here is Skylar and me with more. Hi everyone, I'm Skylar and this is Jaden, and we're two of your house captains for 2019. We're here today to talk to you about this year's Athletics Carnival. The results were... Cottrell in third place. Watts in second place. And Kitson in first place. This year, we saw the largest amount of people attend than ever before. We also saw the most people dressed up in fun and exciting costumes and sporting their house colours. Despite the unfortunate cold and rainy weather, we still had great levels of participation in all the events. We would like to say a huge thank you to all who attended on the day and helped out. Thanks, Thanks for listening, for listening everyone. Great job guys and great job Kitson on winning the day. Only 104 points between first and second so it was a really close one. Alright so up next we visit Haley with her segment 10 inside 60. This week's victim is Miss Atone. Hi, this is Hayley Akula from Stoughton Report interviewing Miss Otone in the segment 10 and 60. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's your favourite video game? Don't play video games, but I love Super Nintendo. What's your role in the school? Behaviour coach and you look coordinator assistant. What aspects of Stoughton do you enjoy? Love the kids. They're my favourite. What's your favourite colour? Pink. What's your favourite year to teach? Juniors, I'd say. Yep. What's the hardest thing about being a teacher? Um, letting go. What's, what did you want to be before teaching? Nothing. I only ever wanted to teach. What do you think of teenagers these days? I think they're real. I think they're the realest people in the world. Uh, what advice do you have for your students? Um, that they can do whatever they want to do. What did you? Why did you choose the field that you teach in? Um, my subject areas, basically just because I'm a good writer. You just good at English? I'm just good. <laughs> that's, that's it, yeah, that's it. Um, what's the time check? That's it. Uh, it. Done. We did it. We did it. 10 and 60. All right, thank you, Mr. Tone, no for this opportunity in 10 and 60. And I'm Hayley Aguilar for Stoughton Report. Thanks for that. After the break, we check in with the Year 7 excursion in the zoo and lots more. Stay with us. If you love reading and books, you should come check out Stoughton Book Club. Come join Stoughton Book Club running every Wednesday at lunchtime in M4 with Miss Baker. We hope to see you there. Need a little help with your English or math work? Stoughton College provides tutoring for Year 7s, 8s and 9s every Wednesday between 3.15 and 4 in the library. There you will find expert teachers waiting to help you with one-on-one -on -one tutoring. See you there. Welcome back. Now we move on to the Year 7s and their trip to the Werribee Zoo. We're about to check it out. On the 31st of May and the 29th of May, the Year 7 cohort at Stoughton College visited Werribee Open Range Zoo for our biology unit in science. 
We attended Werribee Zoo to learn more about food webs and ecosystems. We created our food webs in groups after given a collection of biotic factors. Along with this, we learnt about the endangered species, the orange-bellied parrot. From there, we took an engaging trip on the safari bus to view ecosystems in action as we learnt about the biotic factors that lived in the habitats that we passed through. After our activities had finished, we were off to eat our lunch at the cafe and viewed the animals at the zoo. All in all, our trip to Werribee Open Range Zoo was an engaging and informative experience that will assist us greatly in our biology unit. Looks like they had a pretty good day. So one of our school-wide positive behaviour focuses this term is seeking feedback and initiating teacher and peer conferences. We sent some of our leaders, Tegan and Taylor, out to find out what actually looks like. Each term at Stoughton College, we focus on an aspect of our school-wide positive behaviour support student matrix. You may have seen it around. This term, we are focusing on something from our efforts section, seeking feedback and initiating teacher and or peer conferences. But why is seeking feedback important? Feedback is important because it helps us understand how we can better ourselves and our work. I think feedback is more important for improving. So when you um, take your work to a teacher that you've done and you want to improve but you don't really know how, you can ask for help and then the teacher will provide you with areas that you might need to improve. You need to know like what you should be better on. It encourages like people to achieve better scores and learning. Research has shown many clear benefits to the value of feedback for improving student outcomes. Students who are given feedback and undertake teacher and peer conferences are more likely to persevere during challenges and reflect on improvements they could make in the future. But how do we do it? Feedback can take many forms, including formal teacher feedback whereby student and teacher reflect on learning with the help of unit rubrics. Informal feedback, whereby a teacher might have a quick check-in with the student and making sure to read and reflect on written feedback and marks on assessment tasks. But feedback doesn't only have to be between teacher and students. Peer feedback is another great option. Check in with your classmates, share ideas, give constructive criticism. The people in your class are in the same boat as you, so it can give you great perspective you otherwise might not see. So this term, make a huge effort to seek feedback and initiate teacher and peer conferences. It will have huge benefits to you and your learning. Great job. Also continue using the positive behavior matrix, ensuring you keep seeking feedback from your teachers and also receiving peer feedback. Up next, we check in with what Staunton's reading today. I'm reading My Royal Story, Henry VIII's Wives by Alison Prince. It's a book like a little girl who was 10 years old, basically, oh her, uh, basically during the Tuna dynasty of King Henry VIII's wives and his region. And it goes through from Jane Seymour being executed right through to King Henry's death. Anyone who loves history, anyone who loves King Henry VIII's story, anyone who's basically loves reading and wants to learn about history. It's called On the Come Up and it's by Angie Thomas. It's about a 16 year old girl named Brie. Um, she has aspirations to become a rapper. Um, but she's growing up in like a troubled neighborhood. Um, she's also black, so she deals with like discrimination and stuff at her school. Um, so it's all about that sort of thing. If you like, or if you like the hate you give, um, you'll like this one because it's a, it's the same setting. It's by the same author. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone really, like year eight, year nine. Um, Kids who like The Hate You Give will love this book too. I am reading Tom Gates, absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm very interested in it. Um, it's about some, some kid that like makes his own band and like in school having troubles 
and this is a lot of problems with him. Um, kids around 13 plus. Yep. Uh, if you enjoy reading, we have a book club here at Staunton uh, on Wednesdays at lunchtime in M4, so please come along, bring your book you're currently reading. Let's talk books. Good stuff, and remember to always have a just right text in your bag. Now here are all the upcoming important dates. Your 7 and 10 exams are on at the moment. Study hard and if you're moving around the school, just remember to be quiet and respectful of people completing exams. There is an early dismissal on Friday the 21st. Students will be dismissed at lunchtime, 12.50pm. And Friday the 28th is the last day of term. It's been a busy one and I'm sure you are looking forward to a well-deserved break. And students will be dismissed at lunchtime on that day too. That is all from us here at the Staunton Report. Thanks everyone for tuning in. It's been your boy Max. And your guy Jaden. Thanks for watching and make sure to come by next time.